Hi everyone, um, thanks for coming along to our uh, presentation. Um, I'm Gareth, um, founder of uh, co-founder of MetaReal, um, and uh, I'm just going to switch on my screen share, pop over to our website. So, um, welcome to our presentation. MetaReal is a work company that uh, has uh, built a uh, basically what you're going to see here is a combination of five years of uh, of research and development. Um, we've been uh, the product's been uh, in production for two years now, and what we're going to show you is some of the customer work um, that's been done, some of the advances in MetaReal stage. Um, one of the key things that uh, we, th we think is very important about MetaReal stage is that uh, you can shoot um, and create 3D uh, virtual tours using any camera you like. Um, that is, um, and when we say 3D virtual tours, we mean really 3D. Um, there are a lot of tour platforms out there that say they're 3D, and in fact, what they're really doing is stringing together collections of 2D panoramas um, into a network to create a panorama gallery. Um, what you get with MetaReal is actually a 3D virtual tour uh, that includes a uh, um, uh, uh, that includes a 3D model. But every uh, MetaReal virtual tour um, can have a, uh, a model, with a, a virtual tour, a 3D model, a floor plan, and in fact, works in VR. I'm going to start by showing you a. Uh, um, a, a virtual tour by, uh, by a client here. Um, this is a condo development. Um, and what you can see is as we move around, um, right away you can see that the movement is very smooth, very proportional, um, and there's a wonderful 3D effect as you move. Um, this is because we're actually moving around the real 3D model. On the other hand, um, uh, this is done without the, the, the sort of owner's requirements of having to shoot a panorama or shoot imagery every few feet. In fact, you only need to shoot panoramas that you want to have uh, for navigation points, and yet we're still able to create a true 3D environment. Um, I'm just gonna. One of the things that's uh, nice about uh, a couple of other things that are nice about MetaReal is that you can add labels and notes any way you want. You can also connect multiple spaces together and transition between them. So if you want to do a sequence of spaces or connect together several properties, for example, a condo complex or uh, a uh, housing development, um, that's something that's really easy to do. In this case, uh, the, uh, the, the creator of the tour wanted to have absolutely no user interface. So you can see here, there's no branding, there's no widgets, there's nothing cluttering the interface. And this makes it very elegant to integrate into um, another web application or another web property. And this was a part of the, the condo sales site at the time. So I'm going to close this and head straight back to another, uh, to another virtual tour. Um, let's take a look at this guy. Um, and these, you can find these, these tours, you can check them out yourselves on our gallery. In this case, um, the producer of the tour uh, the, uh, decided they wanted some of the user interface options. So here we've got a, a room chooser, so we can move around various chosen feature points in the tour. Um, and uh, we've also got some other interface elements down here. We can go full screen option. Um, and uh, we've also got a bunch of things. So I'm going to actually switch to the 3D model view. So this is the 3D model. Uh, that comes with the tour. Um, and you can see that uh, I can change the floors in the model. I can show all the floors. Um, I can switch to the plan view, um, and I can switch back to the tour. So, like I say, every tour comes with uh, the tour itself, 3D tour, uh, the 3D model, and the floor plan. Um, we're also able to easily add measures to the environment. So, if I've got, I want to measure something in my space, um, I can go ahead and easily drag a measure out there. Um, We've also got uh, the ability, if you're using a, a Web VR compatible device, such as an Oculus Quest or an Oculus Go, um, you can open the link to the page um, or the, the embedded the hosting web page for the tour and just click on the uh, VR uh, uh, link here and you'll go actually into the, the, the VR space as if you're there. Um, and one of the key things about MetaReal uh, tours is that um, because they're actually 3D, uh, when you look at them in VR, you see all the depth perception and the true scale of the space, even if it was shot on a, uh, a 2D, uh, 2D 360 camera. Um, so the next thing I want to look at is some of the work that uh, some of our customers have done. Um, this is uh, uh, one of our customers, We Chalet. It's a uh, short-term rentals platform based in Quebec, and they specialize in renting um, uh, location, rental locations in natural surroundings. Um, now, what they've done is they've integrated our tour player into their platform. Um, so I can go and look at a listing, um, look straight at the, uh, the gallery of photos as normal. Or I can actually click on 3D tour and head straight into um, the virtual tour of the listing. And as you can see, this gives a, a really good impression, um, a much better impression than just a gallery of photos of what the uh, what the tour, what the location is actually like, and helping me make a much more informed decision 
about the location. Um, we've got another customer in France, Mia Visite, um, and they've done a more sophisticated integration of uh, the Material Tor Player using our software development kit, um, which is fully programmable. So you're able to build interactive web applications um, based on the Material, uh, Material Tor Player. So here we can see we have the Material Tor Player. Um, and what they've done is they've built their own web application, which has information for the agent, um, the agent's photograph. And also, the agent is able to um, uh, detect where the, uh, the visitor is looking. Um, and in real time, um, the um, update prepared comments about where the user is and, and, and where the visitor is and what information uh, they actually want to call out uh, to help them uh, navigate through the tour. So this is an example of a much more interactive, much more sophisticated uh, kind of uh, um, example of what can be done with the MetaReal Tor player. Um, I'm just going to come back to uh, the camera. So unlike a lot of other platforms, you don't need to shoot um, uh, panoramas every two feet. In fact, um, you really, uh, you're, it's really up to you how many panoramas you shoot to create the 3D virtual tour, but we're still able to turn it into a 3D tour. Um, and there are two ways of working. Um, you can either uh, do, uh, do it yourself, upload your panoramas, create your rooms and build your tour, or you can upload your panoramas and submit the job to us and we'll do all the hard work for you. I'm just gonna head back to the photos now. So the minimum uh, kind of thing you need to do is to shoot panoramas, um, to have one panorama per enclosed space um, and uh, link them together into um, a navigation network so that you can move around smoothly. So it's really just a question of thinking about where you want your visitor to be able to navigate. Obviously, you can shoot more panoramas in space in the space if you want, if there's occluded details or you're dealing with large spaces. But what we recommend is just to shoot the minimum number of panoramas possible to create a good navigation for your, for your, for your visitors. Basic rules are line of sight between the panoramas. You really need to be closer than five meters, but it can be much further than that as well. Um, and there's a minimum of one panorama per enclosed space. Um, so I'm just gonna check where we are for time. Okay. Um, so the key thing to remember, uh, one thing we've got um, for visitors here at the show um, is that uh, we've got a special offer of uh, one month of premium for free. So if you come, uh, uh, come to our booth, you could, there's the office there is available on the booth, you can sign up there. Um, also inside here in the webinar, um, you can go ahead and click, I think, in the public chat, and there's a link out to, uh, uh, to come to our, 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 our live booth, um, and we'll go into a deep dive, much more information, we'll actually show you how to make, how to make the tours themselves, um, where we have a little bit more time. Um, so come back here, take advantage of the uh, Connect Now offer. Just remember that every uh, material tour comes with a 3D model, a floor plan, is works in stereoscopic VR, and includes the ability to add um, interactive notes. Um, you hit up the page, uh, you can download, uh, this, this link is on our, uh, our booth page, you can download the brochure. Um, and um, uh, just to remind you, you've got all these features. You can use any camera, all the tours are fully wide labeled if you're on a paid plan. You can have annotations or interactive notes. There's two ways to use the platform, DIY or full production service. Um, we provide all the hosting and so on for you, so you can really easily share and integrate with uh, other, other web, web applications, MLSs and so on. And we have a full software development kit, so you can really um, build your own interactive web applications around our platform. Um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, not sure exactly where I am with time. But um, I, I hope uh, you'll come visit us on our live booth, uh, following on from this. And we'll be there uh, for the next hour or so, um, able to take you through the platform and show you much more details how things, uh, how things work. Um, thanks very much for coming to visit us. And don't forget, there's a special offer available to folks um, coming to uh, uh, Inman uh, to get one month of premium for free. Thank you very much. Uh, visiting. Um, are there any questions here right now I can answer? Wow, well, all kinds of chat. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. Um, pleasure. Uh, you can, Linda, you can check out the pricing uh, on the uh, either on our website or on our, our platform. 
Um, yep, you can use any camera you like. Thanks, Steve. Barb, thanks very much. Um, uh, I look forward to maybe having a